Hey, so with all the turmoil that's out there at the moment in today's world, um, I wanted to take a bit of time to actually reflect on a, a really positive message um, that can come out of all of this. I know we're largely in lockdown at the moment, trying to work out how to respond to a, a significant threat to our business in many um, in many instances, but there's also great opportunity here. And, um, and I think the real opportunity for us as leaders today is to step into being the leader that we wish we had. Um, I want to share a really positive story that came out of um, a recent crisis. So in the wake of September 11, uh, Southwest Airlines um, was a bit of a beacon in terms of the industry. So as you can imagine, um, with a crisis like that, airplane um, flights halted overnight um, the domestic travel industry largely collapsed in the U.S. immediately. Um, and so all of a sudden you've got a whole industry that goes into crisis mode and starts to make those reactions like cutting staff, cutting back on pay, um, working out how to handle a situation where all of a sudden the income just isn't coming in anymore. Um, Southwest Airlines chose to take a different path. So in the wake of those horrendous events, what happened was that at Southwest, they got together as a company and they had a conversation about what they were going to do and what that looked like. As a result, they chose not to lay off staff. So instead, they started talking about what does a response look like if we're not going to do that? Does it look like four-day work weeks? Does it look like reduced hours? How do we come together around this problem and solve it to the best of our ability? They did some amazing things around offering refunds to customers straight up. And if it's a gutsy, gutsy move, paid off big time. Um, and I'm not necessarily saying that we need to go down all of these paths. The real takeaway here is that this company came together and chose to reposition their their uh, response to the problem in a way that other companies didn't. As a result, Southwest actually made money in the fourth quarter of 2001, So they and they have continued to make a profit each year. So in the light of what's going on today and what may seem like um, some pretty dark times for a lot of us that are ahead, don't forget that you have a choice in the way that you react. You can choose to be the leader that you wish you had, and you can choose to make a really humanistic decision that's based on what's best for everybody, not simply an immediate individualistic response to what's going on. We can choose to make a difference every move we make. So I hope you're out there um, and, and having a great week and pushing through where you can and taking the time to rest and recover where you need to. Um, we have we have got a pretty rough path ahead, so hold on. It's going to be a bit of a roller coaster ride, but you have a huge opportunity here. And I would really, really encourage you to all think about how we can make those decisions that are going to be best, not only for the ongoing sustainability of our organisation, but for the people who live and breathe life into that organisation as well.